These are ambassadors of member nations to the African Union who make up the Permanent Representatives Committee. Their job is to conclude a draft agenda for the Executive Council members to deliberate on in few days' time. According to the chairperson of the committee, Fatumata Kaba, one of the top agendas of the talks here is the AU reform implementation. As you know, the PRC is, is playing a key role to the preparation of the summit. So we are preparing in, uh, in the field of the reform, which is uh, launched since uh, the 27th summit in Kigali. But it will also be peace and security related issues, which would be strong agendas on the tables of the leaders. The situation in South Sudan, Libya, Mali, the Central African Republic, among others, and terrorism in the Sahel as well as the Horn of Africa all need urgent response from African leaders. There are matters of peace and security about uh, unrest and instability in South Sudan, Central African Republic, and a few other troubled areas. These are matters that we want to put to rest and silence the guns. But the key decisions are going to be about reform, the institutional reform. The debate is going to take place among uh, our heads of states. And uh, we have a very brilliant paper by President Kagame to work on. But I imagine the end result might be a cross between a few different ideas. But let's wait and see how, how it goes. This year, the African Union is holding its summit under the theme harnessing the demographic dividend through investments in the youth and many expect concrete decisions which would further empower the youth of the continent. As you know, 70% of uh, African population is uh, the youth. So this summit it will be very important because our head of state will uh, take the decision we can, which can uh, affect positively the life of the youth in the Africa. On the other hand, a follow-up report of the implementation of the AU reform based on the July 2016 and January 2017 summit decisions is expected to be presented by President Paul Kagame of Rwanda, Idris Jebi Itno of Chad and Alpha Conde of Guinea during the course of this summit. The African Union has given the issue of institutional reform due attention and said it's committed to see it happening on the ground sooner than later. In addition, the issue of migration and implementation of the decision of the 0.2% levy on imports of eligible products in order to ensure a predictable, sustainable and equitable financing of the AU will also be discussed in the coming few days of the 29th African Union Summit. Grumtala CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.